Top 5 Best Comebacks Wit is a quality that is easily desired but not so easily obtained. Those who do have it have gained heavy acclaim. Since the beginning of time, mankind has argued and debated against one another. And while some conflicts are won in wars, many of them are won in words. Here are five of history's best comebacks, retorts, repartees, insults, or whatever else you'd like to call them. Number five. We start off with the This is America comeback at number five. Henry Ward Beecher was an abolitionist who liked to speak his mind. When the Civil War took its start, Beecher traveled throughout the U.S. attempting to gather up support in favor for Lincoln and his Emancipation Proclamation. He said that the Union would be the Confederates in 60 days during his travels and when he made a trip to England, this was used against him. At that time, war was still a very sensitive topic among the British due to the Americans winning the Revolutionary War. While he was speaking in Manchester, one hostile man cried out, Why didn't you whip the Confederates in 60 days as you said you would? He hesitated only for a second, but then Henry replied, Because we found we had Americans to fight this time, not Englishmen. Number 4 A honest comeback and number 4 is by none other than Winston Churchill. Early in his career, Winston Churchill was at a meeting and another member was giving a long-winded speech. Churchill began to close his eyes and fall asleep. At the sight of this, the member became visibly angry and shouted, Mr. Churchill, must you fall asleep while I'm speaking? Instead of making attempts at an apology or a cover-up, Churchill simply replied, No, it's purely voluntary. Number 3 at number three is the best self-effacing comeback. Abraham Lincoln was not the most attractive president, but he was, in a sense, almost fascinatingly ugly. During a debate, Lincoln was accused by his more hostile adversary of being two-faced. Lincoln managed to accomplish what few men have done before. He defended himself without insulting the other man and even poked fun at a flaw of his all in the same sentence. Lincoln calmly turned to the crowd and said, If I had two faces, do you think I'd be wearing this one? Number 2 The classic comeback is at number 2 and it's from the king of comebacks. Winston Churchill makes this list again, proving him to truly be one of the world's wittiest people. Attending a party in London, Churchill once again was drunk and intoxicated. An obviously extremely astute woman from Parliament apparently was irritated by Churchill's mannerisms. When she finally had enough, she came up to him and yelled, Winston, you're drunk! He may have been drunk, but that apparently didn't affect his cognitive functions as he merely replied, You're right, Bessie, and you're ugly, but tomorrow morning, I'll be sober. Number 1 the might not have happened comeback is at number one. This final comeback needs no explanation nor introduction. One only needs to hear the interview excerpt to understand its greatness. A female interviewer once asked General Cosgrove what things he was going to teach the young boys when they visited his base. General Koskov replied, We're going to teach them climbing, canoeing, archery and shooting. Aghast, the female interviewer said, Shooting? That's a bit irresponsible, isn't it? To this, General Koskov said, I don't see why they'll be properly supervised on the rifle range. The female interviewer retorted, Don't you admit that this is a terribly dangerous activity to be teaching children? General Koskov calmly replied, I don't see how. We will be teaching them proper rifle discipline before they even touch a firearm. The female interviewer said, But you're equipping them to become violent killers. General Cosgrove's comeback to this was, Well, ma'am, you're equipped to be a prostitute, but you're not one, are you? Need we say more?